This damn tripod just doesn't want to <laughs> stay, guys. Does not want to cooperate. All right, so we're doing something a little bit different. We're not live on TikTok, no. or we're not live on YouTube yet. Not yet. Figured that we would show you guys, tell you guys what we're eating first, and then we'll click live. Uh, I think it makes the most sense. Instead yeah, of, I think so. Instead of us going and saying hello and then repeating what we're eating for dinner, and sometimes we don't even do that, so... Uh, I'll go first. French toast and ice cream. Now, the French toast, I put in the waffle maker. Yes, he did. And it came out really good. It looked delicious. I didn't try it yet, but I could only assume it's going to be amazing. And then this side piece behind you, behind the French toast, is just, uh, you know, um, ham and pineapple double dough pizza. Trying it. I think it's going to be good as well. And I have my veggies. So I'll let Kaki tell you and show so, you guys what you what we what she has. I have. And then we'll go live. Thanksgiving tacos and some green beans. So in my tacos, there is not turkey. There is rotisserie chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, um, stuffing, and then some cranberry sauce on top. It's gonna be good. Are you good, Chico? Yes. All right. Now let's deal with yes, five minutes Chico. of us. Repeating ourselves over and over again. I always feel like it takes 15 to 20 minutes for us to really get into the show So hopefully it's not the case tonight and we get to just get right down to business. All right, YouTube is live Okay. All right, and TikTok is live <clears throat> You're good You're good <clears throat> Clearing out my phone did you put the volume on mute? Yes, my volume's down. And we have King of, not King of Queens, we have Two and a Half Men, two and a half men Sunday, so men. King of Queens is not on the lineup, it's Two and a Half Men. We had Miss, Mrs. Doubtfire on. You should have left that on. Which is a classic. I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want to take a chance of <laughs> that sound getting, getting, I don't think that sound getting, would. I think it would. I definitely think it would. No. You didn't have to sign in in any of the monitors, right? That one. You did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thanks. Uh, I wish oh, I'm happy I said something because that means I that... did. I have something to do that one. Yeah, you got to let me know when that happens. Oh, I'm sorry. You you better be sorry, Kaggy. I'm not sorry. All right, we're good. Are we good? We're good. So Sunday Fun Day. I know last night I said that I was thinking about doing a Sunday Fun Day salad, but. I didn't go to the store today. I only went. Actually, I did go to the store, but I didn't go to the grocery store. Kaki went to BJ's. Oh, it's BJ's. Got me vegetables for the week. Got the kids stuff for school for the week. Yep. And then it was, it was a big Uno day for the family. Uno and football. Uno is a new game. I didn't do either one of them. Uno is a new game. Hello, chat today. Uno is fun. So much fun. Everybody plays it. I was the. <laughs> I'm the one that bought the game. Hey, Mike. I'm the one that bought the damn Hi, game. Gina. And then Hello, everybody Dennis. else is like, I want to play. I want to play. Yeah, let's play. But then, like, we get argumentative and we get really competitive. <laughs> it's kind of funny. This is going to sound kind of screwed up, but I'm not. Hello, Paisley. Hello, I, Gina. I was the odd man Hello, out Dennis. two days in a row. I didn't. You were always asked to play. You always say no. I said no. Yeah, I'm not a game guy. No, but it's fun. Are you guys in New Jersey? We have BJ's? Uh, the, no. BJ's? We're not, well, I don't... Well, BJ's is also in New York. We're not in New Jersey. We're not Maybe BJ's Jersey. is not in Jersey. No, BJ's, I feel like, are you guys in Jersey? We have BJ's. I feel like BJ's is like everywhere. Yeah, we're not in New Jersey. Everybody, no, a lot of people we're from think New York. We're, in, we're, we're from New Jersey, but we're not with New York. Yeah. Okay, I'm in New Jersey. Well, welcome, Nancy. How is well, hello, uh, how New did, Jersey, Nancy? Nancy, how did the snow hit you? Did you get a lot of it? It was we so got, not. Mm -hmm. We got were, pounded with snow. We got pounded with snow. We did, um, but it's so pretty. Hey guys, y'all sound muffled. Oh great, not again. Sorry about that. It's a TikTok thing. That's a TikTok issue, not our not our fault. Chop biscuit, you matter. Hello, you matter too. Everybody matters. <clears throat> I love you guys. Thank you very much. Very nice. It's always nice to hear that. 
you know. I love you guys. Oh, thank you. Compliments are always appreciated. Did you guys see my French toast in the waffle maker? On TikTok, on the TikTok end of things or YouTube? Did you guys see the video? Hello, Andrea. Oh, hello, Andrea. How are you, girl? I'm gonna save the post, and I'm actually gonna make a reel for Instagram. Uh, a reel for for Instagram tomorrow with a nice good morning breakfast post. French toast in the waffle maker. I listen. I remember when I did waffle French toast. I took wa actual waffles and I dipped it in the egg with the cinnamon. I had never seen it before, and I thought of it. And then maybe a month ago, not, not even a month ago, I saw one of the big food uh, pages do it. How, How about, about them, them bangles? bangles? <laughs> um, We're not football people, but I happened to watch both games tonight, only because it was on, and his brother was like betting money on it. The Bengals game was awesome. Oh hey, it's the <laughs> WWE guy. I forgot your name. I'm assuming you, you're probably thinking about X-Pac. Um, hello, my name's Jamie. Uh, just saw it. Hello, beautiful people. Hello, Donna. <laughs> How about the Rams? <laughs> I didn't watch. The, I don't even know. <laughs> How about the Rams? I know they tonight. They pulled the other butt. <laughs> I know tonight was like a big football. It was a big deal. And it was a playoff game for the go to the, to end the, the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Uh, but... 300 pound guy, they say you know, I'm sorry, 300 pound, pound guy, guy again. again, they say you know weight loss. Uh, well, hello, Joe. Um, I do. I know what worked for me. I'm not a nutritionist hello, or Porter. a personal trainer, but I mean, I can, I can maybe answer a question <laughs> for you. Hello, Cortland. Hello, Court. How is your music brother? Sorry. Ronda Rousey's coming back in the Royal Rumble. She did, and she won. Hello, Johnny Bees. How you doing, ma'am? Hello, Marie. Yeah, I watched the Royal Hello, Rumble Steph. last night. And I, I gotta tell you, Jimmy was right. I was thinking about it. Jimmy knows wieners more. Hey, Pete. Well, what's up, buddy? You're right, oh, I, know. I know. I know a good hot dog. He's not lying about that. You know, I was thinking about this. Khaki talked to Jimmy Jam after the stream last night. And... Jimmy was convinced that the pay-per-view was so good. Now, I, I'll i be honest with you. I didn't watch the full uh, Rollins and, and Roman match. I did see clips, and mm. it looked like a great, a great match. And the ending of the match was very poetic, like our friend Sarah said. And now I know what she meant by it. And he's right. I don't keep up with the project. It's my the birthday today. Can the you product. Play? Sing happy birthday to me. Who wants the who wants this? Annette. This? Hello, happy birthday, Annette. Happy birthday, girl. Well, 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 what do we have here? Thanksgiving tacos, and I missed it. Sorry, Jimmy Jam. Any tips? You eat mass amounts and looks good? Yeah, Joe, I do intermittent fasting. That's why I eat massive amounts. Hello, I Michael. only eat once a day. Hi, Munchkin. Jimmy Jam, can uh when, where are you? We're uh, frozen on uh, YouTube. Great. Um, I only eat once a day, right? So all my calories are at, on one sitting. That's why it look it, it's so much food. Hey, MB, how are you, girl? Number two, I count my calories. I count my um, my macros and my micros. I exercise every day. I don't believe in days off, uh, regardless of how I'm feeling. Let me give you an example. Tonight I was sick. I was not feeling very good. I was very nauseous. But I still put my running shoes on, and I went, and I did what I had to do. Uh, you have to be consistent, and you have to know what you want at the end of the day, right? If you're 300 pounds, which I was, I, I, I was, you know, I was, I was, I was a fat guy, and um, I knew I didn't want to. Mm, I know it's gonna be a bad live stream it's tonight be a for bad YouTube. YouTube stream tonight, guys. I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, I knew what I wanted, and I knew I had to mm -hmm. stay consistent with it. I wanted to be around for my kids. Uh, I'm throwing a lot at you. I understand that, but at the same time, I don't want you to bounce and and you know without hearing what I have to say. So, get a get a control on your calories. Find out how much you're supposed to take in. That's your first, my first um, advice for you. What about the drinks? The drinks are my vegetables. That's how I take my vegetables in because I don't like just eating raw vegetables. Uh, the fruit punch. 
which is this red drink is homemade. I don't give that recipe out. It's not a weight loss drink. Don't think that. Don't you dare cut the hair, hair Jamie. <laughs> I, Cortland, I'm thinking about it, brother. What kind of taco is khaki? Thanksgiving tacos. And then I will, we, we will sing happy birthday in, in just but a little bit, okay? With rotisserie chicken, not turkey. All right, don't do it. Yeah, I don't think you should do it either. Yeah, well, I, I listen. I didn't even talk to this one about cutting the cutting the the mane, but I, I will tell you, you this. You said you were thinking about it. I've been thinking about it for a long time. It's just you you have you have and listen, ladies, you probably know better than most of the dudes in here. You have oh, hold a, on, Jimmy. You have a couple of bad hair days, and you just you get tired of it. You want to just wrap it up in a bun or put a baseball hat on and and not have to deal with it. It's a pain in the butt getting out of the shower, having to brush it, with, which nine out of ten times I don't do. You know, I just kind of, I put it up in a bun, I do my makeup, my headband on, and then I let it down. <laughs> and then I blow drop the top of it so it I have a volume. It's just a lot. It's a lot. Um, I had long hair, I cut it. Never felt better, but you have the look for the longer hair. Thank you. And I do agree. I feel like I do look better with long hair. It's just, it's, it's, it's not the healthiest. You look good with short hair. I don't think I do. I have one of those. Listen, Mr. Jimmy Jam I, sent me. I have one of those fat heads. No. Like a gorilla head. Mr. Jimmy Jam sent me videos from like a few years ago where you had short hair. And I was just like. How does Jimmy have damn. videos of me with short hair? And from you YouTube. Oh, what, from the stream? Yeah. Okay. I was like, damn. You look good. It reminded me of when you were at Katie's wedding. It breaks every time I have to cut it. Lose the makeup before I'd worry. Well, the, the short hair at Katie's wedding is what I would go back to. Mm. That was good. Yeah. But I like the long hair. Johnny, that's great. You bought an exercise machine. I didn't see what you wrote after that. It cut off. Hello, strawberry. You donated MB. 12 inches twice. Nice, Dennis. I donated 12 inches at one point. Um, I'm, right, getting there. So I'm getting to that point. Fasting Bastard said I'd lose the makeup before I'd worry about the hair. Well, I'm, ha I'm happy Well, you think that, Pete. Hey, speaking of 12 inches. Um, Where are we going with this? I was going to go somewhere <laughs> with Fasting Bastard. Where are we but going with this? I'm, ca I'm catching myself <laughs> when it comes to the inappropriate <laughs> stuff. Right, Munchkin? So, get dreadlocks. We can't said, hear you. Yeah, you don't want it's a bad TikTok feed, I guess, for some. Um, TikTok, <laughs> you don't want turn up your phone. Mad, it's TikTok. Turn up your. Phone. Okay, so it's a TikTok issue. It's definitely not us. Hello, Steph. How are you? Are you talking about my ankle pick, Jamie? I was, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm gonna fix this one. <laughs> oh, and by the way, um, I have. Twelve inches. Well, if anybody was wondering, we got. 24 inches of snow. <clears throat> I think that's what Jamie was Another going Another dirty stream. <laughs> yeah, and that might, it looks like it might be going up. that way. Trying to clean it up, Annette. We got 24 inches of snow. Hello, Diana from Bama. What's happening? Hello, Diana from Bama. <laughs> oh, Pete, you're, you're on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a rule tonight. So what's on Thanksgiving <laughs> tacos? Sounds good. So there is rotisserie chicken. There is gravy, mashed potatoes, stuffing, and then some cranberry sauce. Is it good? Did you try it yet? Yes. I already had a taco. No. This is going to be the new way to make French toast. I'm telling you, if you have a waffle maker, I guarantee it, this is how you're going to want to start making it. I'll just, My I guess, are I'll just zip it, I guess. <laughs> Cortland, you don't have, <coughs> Cortland, you don't have to Cortland, you don't gotta zip censor it. yourself at all. No. You say what you want to say. It was the stream from the other night for Pete. He's having withdrawals. <laughs> yeah, he's catching up. He's catching up. Pete, if you were in here the other night, there was a couple of one-liners I had Strawberry. said that you could have you jumped all over me for. Mm, Kaki, that sounds and looks so good. Oh, Marie, it is. It's so good. I'm wondering what I'm gonna like more, the French the, the French toast, waffles, 
or the double dough ham and pineapple pizza. This is just a side piece. I didn't make pizza tonight. I'm trying out a new place. I think it'll be good. Actually, I know it's going to be good. I did try a bite. I did try. Oh, and that goes all... Wow, I, I, I sucked those those drinks those uh, drinks down. Let's go with the waffle first. I have to. I don't care about the pizza. I had pizza two nights in a row. Don't tell me what to do. All right, here we go. <laughs> Uh, and, it, and there's vanilla ice cream. Edie's. I'm an Edie's guy when it comes to ice cream. Son of a biscuit. Uh. Hello, Malachi. What's up, Malachi? Tomorrow is your 15th birthday. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right, so <laughs> it is... <laughs> You're sick, Pete. It is Annette's <laughs> birthday, so we are going to sing to her. Sounds good? Sure. Nora would go there, and Jamie's explosion of French toast just cream pie everywhere. Can't hate him anywhere. Tiss, tiss. <laughs> Any moving updates? The sooner the better. It's, I'm, 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 it's, listen, I just want to go, I just want to get out of New York. I don't, I, I don't like this weather. I don't, I want to get away from the cold. Oh, Nelson. At this point, if someone from somewhere down south said, hey, I got a job opportunity for you. Guess what? You can move in this weekend. I'd say, really? I'd look into it, and I'd probably do it. That's how bad I want to get out of New York. Hello, right. Nelson. How you doing, man? Grass is always greener on the other side, though, right? We That's might get the other to, thing. The might, grass only looks greener. We might get to wherever we go and say, hey, you know what? I miss New York. So, I mean, the only thing I'm going to miss from New York is my freaking family, but... Um, I'm not going to miss the weather. All right. Um, let's sing happy birthday. I got two RVs on my land you can rent. <laughs> well, thank you, Steve. Appreciate it, Steve. Steve-o. Two RVs on my land. I tried the Papa John's New York style pizza. Was it good? Did you like it, Johnny? I do not like Papa John's. I'm willing to give Papa John's mm. another chance. I am not, because I ate it when I was pregnant, and it ruined pizza for me. Um, I love my Harleys. Very true. I always went back home. Yeah, and I'm, here's the thing. Low-key, I'm a mama's boy. So, it's low-key. It's low-key. Yes, it is. I'm not, as, I'm not as big of a mama's boy as I once were. Now, I, seem, I feel like <laughs> all I do is, 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 is fight. Ready for happy birthday? Yeah. Are you doing happy birthday too? Did yeah, and that wanted of us? both of us to sing happy birthday. Okay. Um, here we go. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday to you. <laughs> got to follow my lead, girl. No. I've got the microphone. Happy, happy birthday. You can just sing it. Happy <laughs> birthday. No happy rhythm. birthday to you. Kaki, I never sing happy birthday the same way. <laughs> I know. Happy birthday, Annette. Happy give, birthday, girl. I, I have to give I have to give a little bit of something different so it's different for everybody. If I sang the same generic happy birthday to each person, it would there would be nothing Well, she wanted special. us to sing it together, so that would just say But I but the, but the, this we're not doing uh, this. Uh, I do it all the time that way. <laughs> and you usually just go with however I do it. Like if I go happy birthday, happy birthday, you kinda just Mike, you kind of echo it, you know? I'm not echoing you. How about you sing happy birthday and I'll echo you? No, I'll, thank you. you. I think that how is about probably... I, how about I sing it and you don't no, sing a damn thing? I never know where I'm going to go with it. So how about you sing happy birthday <laughs> and I'll do the... Okay. Happy birthday, Annette. I hope happy birthday, that girl. was special enough for you. Is Jamie an only <laughs> child? No. No. I only have one son. He is spoiled rotten. Yeah, no, he is not an only child. I was an only child, and I was spoiled rotten. I got but I was spoiled, but I'm not rotten. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of brothers, and then I have sisters that live in Ohio. Keyword, I was an only child. I'm not anymore, because I found my sibling. She just carried you? Nope, Nelson. So one of my friends is having a girl. Is that a sign of things to come? I mean, she just carried me, Jimmy Jam. Since when are you on the khaki train? Because I, I was sounding good and you're like, came on the happy birthday to you. I, but I always do that. 
<laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Thank you both. I'm happy you like it. Happy you liked it, Annette. <clears throat> what part of Ohio? I live in Rayland, Ohio. I don't know. Big Duke, that's one of the sucky things is I haven't, Hello, Noreen. I haven't seen them or I haven't talked to them since they were little babies. Uh, you know, my, my, the oldest of the girls, her name is Ashley. And, uh, you know, I, I, I haven't, I held her when she was a baby. And then, you know, my, I didn't always have the greatest relationship with my dad because he never would. I never got to see them, so therefore I wasn't close with them. And then him and my stepmom divorced, and she went to Ohio. So it's sad, it sucks, but at the same time, you know, it just it is what it is. I'm friends with a couple of your sisters on Facebook. Yeah. Well, so whenever you want to like say hey, you know, I'll start it for you if you want me to. No, I know. Have a super duper week ahead. Awesome duo. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> you did a P.O. box for baby stuff, guys. Yeah, well, Nelson, everybody keeps saying boy for Nelson. I think Nelson's having a girl. <clears throat> and that's going to be determined Hi, on Saturday. Uh, yeah, I couldn't even, I, I don't even have the slightest clue of where in Ohio. How are the kiddos back at school? Question mark. Yep. Oh, yeah, they're back in school. Back Thank in God. school and... No I'm, more running. Let's just say I'm very surprised. My head hurts. I don't have I'm gray running. hair. Very surprised. I have lots of gray hair. Yeah, well, you're old. That's different. No, I'm old because everybody stresses me out. Everyone stresses me out. She carried you. Not carried you. King of Queens. You'd ah there you go, Jimmy. That's more like it. That's what I kind of figured. When she <laughs> well, did that stutter dot 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 with being a smart gotcha. <laughs> Understand and you're hundred percent right. Khaki's got a lot of Carrie's features uh in her. We it's funny because we have a lot of Doug and Carrie features. She's real life the bully, and I'm the innocent fat guy. Well, first of all, I'm not a bully. You're a bully. I think. I think. No, I'm just didn't. strong opinions, and I know what I want. There's a difference. Yeah. And I know when somebody's wrong, and my intuition is spot on. Just like when Carrie was like, "We're not gonna let him in here. He could be a serial killer." Guess what? He freaking robbed them all on Thanksgiving. Oh. Robbed them all on Thanksgiving. Thank you, Nelson. <laughs> <clears throat> Kaki keeps it real, Jamie. Oh, she, I know she does. Can't hate her for that, right? Just a mom. I am. Can't. Uh. That was good. Cat is a bully. Wow, Nelson. <laughs> then goes your baby shower gift. Right out the window. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, man. I do keep it real. She punched you one I time. I did. Because he scared me. He popped in the corner and scared me. <laughs> what do you mean? Jamie's a battered wife. <laughs> Y'all's union balance. That's all that matters. Union. What does that mean? I've never heard that said before. Union balance? What does that mean? Union balance. I don't know. Yeah. Nelson, you forgot about the time you popped out of the closet and I beat you with a five pound bag of freaking pasta. Yeah. You forget about that one? I beat you with a bag of pasta. I just had pizza, not the meat lovers, and not the meat lovers. What kind of pizza did you get? You know, you, okay, they're saying that us being together is a balance. Oh, yes, well, that's true. Uh huh. I See, agree. bully, no, you scared me. I'm not a bully. You scared me. So I did what I had to do to defend myself. <laughs> I agree. Me and Kaki are very... I you think scared me. That, we you balance, deserve that. We balance each other out. That's the truth. Jamie suffers from dattered spouse syndrome. <laughs> Stockholm's, if you would. I, uh... 
Who's this attractive couple? Well, hello, Derek. I'm Jamie. This is Kagi. Hello. How are you tonight? Um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, I was going somewhere with the with the beatings. Yeah, I did. I beat you with pasta. You just get the shit out of me. That's not my fault. That's yours. You scared me. I reacted. That's your fault. <laughs> oh. Did you watch the WWE, the Rumble last night? I did. I did. And, you know, Ginny, I, I don't know if you were in here yet when I was agreeing with what you had said last night with a cat on the phone, meaning I don't watch the product anymore. I'm not, I don't really know a lot of the storylines. I definitely don't know a lot of the guys that you see on TV. But clips of the Roman and Seth match, because I wasn't paying too much attention to it. Did look good, and I did like the ending of it. So, you're right about that. Still not the same about. Uh, it's still not the same wrestling as it once was. But I don't think I'm gonna be that guy, and I stand by my word on this. I don't think I'm going to be that guy that changes with the times and think it's okay to do a hundred super kicks and fifteen flips all within fifteen minutes. So I don't think that part of me will ever change. You smell what the rock is cooking? Always. My cousin used to run around the house singing that, saying that. I love the As rock. kids. Like, as kids, he would just, like, run around the house. Do you smell la 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 what the rock is cooking? He would be so random with it, too. Like, he would just come running down the stairs and just do it. You know and what? I used to look at him like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's all good, bro, Ham. I get the point of you and agree with a lot of that. Thank you. You know what the funny thing is? Is I love The Rock. Rock's my number one inspiration, right? I've got three. Rock, Cameron Haynes, and David Goggins. When I was, uh, when Rock was in wrestling, I never, I wasn't a big Rock fan. Like, me liking The Rock is has everything to do with what he's done after wrestling. I agree. I watched WWE ruin a bunch of my favorites. I used to watch it every day. Now I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, unfortunately, I think it, they're going more of a, um. You hope some of this damn snow melts by Saturday? Yeah. I hope so, too. I hope we get dumped on more. I hope we don't. I hope we get dumped on a lot more, and we get to have another snow. I have a feeling that my special run I had the other night, uh, or last night, was it? It's not going to happen again this year. NWO or life. Loved the NWO. It's funny, I'm more of a WCW fan nowadays than I was when I was younger. Here goes the WWF kid. <clears throat> I would, if I only, like, Kaki watches her criminal shows. Right? I do. I like my murder shows. I like my criminal shows. Law and Order, SVU, Chicago, Med, and all that stuff. I also like Forensic Files, but I can't watch it around Jamie. He doesn't like that. No. I don't like. Chris Benoit was your favorite? Yeah. I liked, uh, you know, I liked Chris Benoit a lot in WCW. I thought that was when he was... When he had my eye, was did somebody whistle? No, that was my foot across the floor. Cause there's like little sticky things on my on my. Oh, it's cute. It's my foot. Okay, stop. <laughs> Sounds like we have a bird. No. You love your murder shows. Me too. I love those shows. I'm Team Oxygen? Boy. Hell oh, yeah. Pete, I, I... Oxygen. I love those shows. I don't want to say so much shit, but it's like I'm being very careful. Mm. ECW was the best. Raven? Nah, Nelson's having a girl. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, right here, folks. I love true crime shows. First 48. ECW was another one of those things. I was an ECW fan back in the day. Like I said, Snapped. That's the, that's the oh, show. Oh, I love Snapped. GCW I seems love snapped. really cool. For it. I love Snapped. Snapped is the uh, pimple show, right? No. Snapped is where usually like somebody murders like their significant other. And it's usually the woman. 
Like you work for ECW? How cool. She's What'd snapped. you do? Hence the name of the show. Yeah. That's something you would like. Mm hmm. You might see me on there one day. <laughs> Not if it goes in you your might favor. See me on there. Not if it goes. I didn't, I've never even heard of it. Jimmy has hacky. He won too many things to do in one night and she snapped. You set up ring light. You set up the rings and it did the lights. Very cool. That's awesome. What a time, right? I'm sure. <laughs> Court, you're laughing. You're laughing because you know it. Completely the flew over your head. Jamie, read my message about Kagi's foot. What message? You're talking about Munchkin before. Do I like Criminal Minds? I've never oh, gotten shit. into Criminal Minds. You hear my knee cracking? No. You were 16 years old. That's pretty cool. Read this. Hold on. How is some of the guys? Hold on. I I'm sure you that. interacted with them. Any cool stories? Uh, excuse me. It was Kathy, Kathy's actual foot, unlike your chair from last night. I was making sounds oh. with you moving it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me, let me, guys. So oh let me God. say this about last night's. I told you. Let me say this about last night's <laughs> special noise that had happened with the chair. Sometimes <laughs> you think something is going to be quiet <laughs> and it's not quiet. Mm. And by the time it starts to make noise, it's kind of too late. So you just go with it and stick to your story, right? I'm sticking to my story. It was the damn chair. And I don't care who believes me and who doesn't believe me. Mm. We will all find... We will find Jamie in the bay and realize that Kaki didn't do it. He was fishing for... For his phone. <laughs> yeah, well, that could happen again. That could happen again. Right, Court? That's like... I mean, he's done it before. He could do it again. No. I'll never go <laughs> running like I did that night and run backwards to film a video. Never again. Yeah, right, that damn chair. <laughs> Manuel, you all have to work tomorrow. Yep. And looking forward to it. I always oh, look. I'm not looking forward to it. I always. You're off tomorrow. <laughs> That's number I'm one. I'm not looking forward to getting up early. Right. Um, I always look forward to going back to work on Monday because and this how ha this is something new that has been going on with me for like the last month and a half to two months I am so relaxed and so rested and feel so freaking lazy on Saturday and Sunday because it's when I kind of catch up on my sleep and there's some naps and lots of cookies lots of pizza lots of uh, enjoyment right and then I know I'm not going to act and behave and eat what I usually do on the weekends so it's like getting back on the straight path and I'm going to be changing a couple of things a couple of things up going forward <gasps> starting tomorrow actually hey it's Randy Macho Man Savage hello weightlifter 76 <clears throat> you would be 100% correct Jimmy Jim one hundred and fifty percent correct. So we're twenty nine days away from Kathy's birthday, and she's off on that day too, as well as the day before. She's getting smashed. You're getting smashed. <laughs> he was making a joke. With wine. And I'm alcohol? off. I'm oh. off that day. I'm off the day before. Your My birthday. birthday falls on a Monday. Yeah. I'm off. Yeah. The kids are in school. Yeah, we're probably gonna be in New York City. We're going to be in New York City on Monday. For one of your days. On a Monday? Mm -hmm. uh, say, if I could get off of it, yeah. Wait, your birthday's on a Monday. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I gotta look what into day it. is my birthday? Well, my birthday. Here's the thing with my birthday. My birthday's tricky. You look like a wrestler, my friend. I used to be. Mm-hmm. My birthday is February 29th. So, that day does not happen but once every four years. Do you actually have a birthday this year? No. Oh, okay. So I it's have not a really... fake birthday this year. My next real birthday will be when I'm freaking 40. That's not far away. And then I will be 10 
years old, I would ha officially have 10 real birthdays. You're a leap year baby. I am. I would have just made up a date and nope. kept with it. I'll be 10. Which is like our son's like ongoing joke. He's like, I'm going to be older than you. And then I don't have to <clears> listen <throat> to you. I'm like, <laughs> just because you're older than me doesn't mean you don't have to listen to me. You're older than me with my real birthdays. But pff, I've got years on you. <laughs> years on you. Quick question. Do you usually go on runs on an empty stomach? Or do you eat something before? No, I fast. Uh, I never run with a full stomach. I'm usually 20, 20 hours fasted before I go for my run. You fly into Chicago instead. I'll provide the booze. How far did I get hmm. when it comes to wrestling? Not Tempting, far. Jimmy. Tempting. I didn't take it serious. I did it for 10 years on and off. And not to toot my own hmm. horn... But I was good, and uh, I just didn't take it very serious, and that's you know my fault. Cheers, Mustang that. girl. Cheers, girl. Cheers, Andrea. But I was good. I was good. I just you know like I said, I didn't take it serious. I hated going to the gym. I didn't go to practice. To, um, you know, uh, for for how much in ring time I got. And the fact that I could kind of step away for a year, two years, whatever it was, and then kind of get back on the bike like nothing had happened, I thought it was very good too. But yeah, no, I was good. I just didn't get, never got hey, Kelly. a big contract. I never, I never got uh, a tryout or anything like that. Who said? Who did you say hello to? Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Ninety four. How are you tonight? Kathy will be following me during her walk. She'll be dodging the turkeys and deer in the road. The snow will be bringing them out. Yeah, I'm probably they probably will be. It's probably going to be crazy. It's turkeys, be a lot of wild snow? animals. Turkeys are not going to come out for snow. They're going to be coming out looking for food. You think so? Probably. Everything's covered. Normally, what Where they would hunt. See, that's a question, and I'm not. Maybe somebody in here will know. Where do like raccoons when it when we get you know, this kind of snow? Where are the raccoons staying warm? Usually in the trees. They usually have like nests. Really? What about the turkeys? I don't know about the turkeys. Those turkeys are tricky. They're tricky suckers. I'm good, Jamie. But in South Florida, the forties are horrible. Oh well, let me tell you. My sisters today were like in the group chat. They're like, it's 39 here. It's 29 here. I'm like, <laughs> it could be like 17 and like two feet of snow. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they I'm like, at least you guys are, don't have to deal with shoveling snow. So they're underground? So interesting what animals do to prepare for storms. And they know. They know. I feel bad for like the straight cats though, because they go under cars. Oh yeah, no, sometimes they go under cars. Well, we have cats underneath our front porch. Turkeys hide in the pines, etc. Burrow in hollows, hollow trees. Trees. Yeah, we and have. And then sheds, garages underneath. Oh, I totally forgot to do that in my mouth. So. Um, Munchkin had sent me this video on TikTok about this guy going outside, scooping his wine glass full of snow, coming back inside the house, pouring wine in there. Here's the weird part. He poured a tablespoon of sugar in there, which I would not do because wine does not need sugar, and then stirred around and he would drink it. But I should have done that for a video to me. Scoop the could, snow. I'm sure you could find I wouldn't some do white it. snow. No, I wouldn't do it back there. It's not all yellow. Uh, it's yellow and brown. Flush it down. No, thank you. I go in the front yard where it's clean. We, where I know it's not soiled. <laughs> TikTok, new segment, happy hour with Vino. Makes a whole oh, lot of sense. One glass of wine for 20 to 30 minutes and just shoot the shit. The ladies will love, love it. it. Ah. If Kaki wanted to do that, thing is, and this is a true life problem, uh, when it comes to content that we've been putting out, I've been putting out my videos, Time is something we just do not have as of late. Not on our side. 
everything has been so screwed up and so ass backwards the last couple weeks, especially the last couple nights, <coughs> where we have these little windows where we can make some sort of magic happen. Happy hour with the Vino makes a whole lot of But I do, I do like what Jimmy said. Yeah. You did something with the girls where you did like a happy hour. Like a ladies night. We can do like a Thursdays like, like a half ladies an hour. night. Yeah. Like yeah. a ladies night. Just sitting there talking. Ladies only though. Before. Well, you can't control that. No, obviously. Uh, I've been feeding so many straight kitties in Florida. It's actually crazy, but I... Can't. You can't see them suffering. I understand oh. that. Yeah, no, I'm the same way. My grandmother was the same, but my, my grandma used to feed stray cats, too. Um, so did mine. We had a whole backyard full of stray cats. It was crazy. You had a raccoon, right? Mm. We also had a raccoon. Or a squirrel. You we had, had a one squirrel. Of them. But there was a raccoon, too, that became really friendly. Yeah. But the squirrel, the squirrel was super friendly. He used, my grandfather used to like put like a nut in his hand and hold it like this. And then the squirrel would literally run up his leg, down his arm, grab the nut, eat it, and run back down. That's cool. I thought that was awesome. That was back before cell phones, so all you had was like those little Polaroid cameras where you, because yeah, I'm that old, where you have those cameras. There was no video at that point unless you had a video camera squirrels are awesome i'm more of a chipmunk kind of guy squirrels i love squirrels jamie has his cookie corner we make a bar top her, her wine, wine corner, corner where khaki sits at the bar and has a glass of wine, wine and yeah. unwinds either that or have their hang out at the liquor store with the wine in the bag, <laughs> bag. brown paper bag brown paper bag how funny was um, Ivory's appearance at the Royal Rumble? I thought the women's Rumble was great. I don't think the guy great. at my liquor store would be opposed to that. <laughs> he probably would do it too. He would probably enjoy. I don't think he would he, drink. He, first though. of all, he knows me. He knows who I am. So <laughs> I don't think he'd be opposed. He'd be like, "Here's yeah, the thing. Tag my business." <laughs> Kathy's got enough sought room on her side of the bed to make her own little corner. That cookie corner. Yeah, if I get rid of that light, because I don't need that light. I bought you that white. I know, but I don't need it. I never use it. Okay, well, I could find something to do with it on my side. But here's the deal. My cookie corner was created out of nothing. I, I looked at that room, and I wanted a designated area that felt like my own space. Boone's Farm, no thank you. And I dare anybody, anybody, to... Actually, I'm not going to say that, because it's I'm not, you know... Anyway, I made a very creative, very comfortable... Uh, spot where the cookie uh, corner escapades gets to happen every single weekend and you know what I've been hanging out in the cookie corner the last two nights just in general before be, before we come down and start doing all this stuff and it's been very nice very relaxing very cozy you know mm -hmm. you have enough room to do that on your side too oh I know once I get rid of that light my bar my wine bar is happy you do use the light though. You use it to hold your phone. You use it to hold your your stuff. Yeah, but I can find. It just I've, makes the room I've... nicer too. Well, then where am I putting my corner? No leftover pizza, Munchkin. <laughs> I had that today while I was watching Baywatch. Yeah, Jamie ate it. I had a slice, and then the kids had a slice. I decided to relax. So now the pizza went to waste. <laughs> Everybody ate it. I decided to rela like relax today yeah. because I said before I wasn't feeling good. I felt very nauseous do you for the <laughs> better part of the day. Mm -hmm. Cat Mom says, Kaki, do you wake up when Jamie is in the cookie corner? Um, I have, and he's just sitting there eating. Watching wrestling. I usually have to pee and, like, get a drink. So, other than that. <laughs> oh, wow, you... I don't, to, I don't sit yeah. there and like partake in the cookie corner because I... My daughter joins me sometimes. I'm not into that. Or I can't eat me. that in the middle of the night. I can, and it's wonderful. I know. That's all you. I love, My daughter's the same way, though. My daughter. Sometimes I wake up to my daughter sitting in the cookie corner, beating me to my own damn cookie yeah. pie. <laughs> sometimes you just hear like, 
scraping. This is what you hear. And I'll, I, I'll like sit up and I'm like, I look and it's just her. Yeah. <laughs> like on Jamie's cookie pie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like the funniest thing too because she knows that she's doing it and she's just like got this smirk on her face. <laughs> she's like, yeah. Hello, John. I'm eating daddy's cookies right now. He's asleep. He can't stop me. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up and I just, I don't, I never get <laughs> mad at her. But I feel like she's so sneaky, like she feels like she's getting away with something. Yeah, no. And it's she like thrilling for her. Hello, Brad. Yeah, it's like, no. Yeah, I don't... I'm gonna eat this. He's never gonna know. No, she'll straight up tell me. <laughs> if you ask her, she'll tell you the truth. I asked her the other night. I'm like, why were you? I said, why were you um, eating my my cookie? And she goes, because you didn't buy me a midnight snack. I said, because you haven't been good. She goes, that's okay. I'll just eat yours. You know, I'm not gonna get. It's okay, I'm just gonna eat your food. <laughs> Hello, John. Uh, funny, I also had active rest day today and only went on a bike ride. Yeah, I still did my run, my normal run, but I just wasn't feeling good. Hello, Brad. I've missed seeing you too. Well, welcome back. Not feeling good. Have a feeling it was the pizza from last night. It's okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I don't know if you're gonna get mad at this, but I have had no choice. I keep on forgetting to get my normal deodorant. I've been using your deodorant. I don't mind, right? Uh, Make sure there's no I don't, hair. Honestly, I don't care. Okay. I have like three different sticks in there. I've been using the same one. It's not like I've been belly dancing back well, and forth. Well, once the bathroom was like cleaned out, I was like, oh my god, I have like three different. Deodorants. I love candy. Hello. Because like. My deodorant just gets misplaced. Like, it was either in the cabinet or in the drawer or in the closet. So. I use the one straight in the middle on the bottom shelf. I don't use that one. All right. That one's not yours. <laughs> You're going to cut your hair, question mark. It's a possibility. I'm thinking about it. Hello, Care Bear. Hey, Care Bear. You guys going to say hi? I'm sorry if I missed you, girl. Yeah, I didn't see it. Care Bear, you know I love you. Mwah. I would never ignore you. On purpose. Yeah, we never ignore anybody I never, intentionally. Yeah. Unless you're being a butthole, then we're going to ignore you. But You made a chuck roast in the wood oven Saturday night, potato and carrots and onions. Very nice. Sounds Women's like a, a gets pot the roast. Job done. Yeah, it does. Women deodorant gets the job done. You know what? Here's the deal. I use, I'm very, listen, I'm very, I'm very um, private when it comes to my, cert, my, my, I have a very unique smell. I've combined different things, <laughs> which Jan. gives me a special a smell. I'm very private on what products I use. <coughs> Here's the thing. The deodorant I use, it's the same deodorant. It just it comes, one is a white top, and then one is like the, the gel top. I usually use the the, um, the blue <laughs> just jelly keep, kind. Just keep the feeling I know you I can bought the white it. one because that's the only one they had. And once I started using it, oh. I started yeah, getting perfect. itchy. So I'm like, okay, screw this. I don't need to be having a rash or I love constantly. my deodorant. My deodorant's the best. Armpit itchy. So I keep on forgetting, so I just started using khakis. Jamie, the ladies are making requests of you. Show them. Yes, that that's what I use. Game. I use secret deodorant. I'm already done. Powder fresh scent. I look... I love candy. Yeah, same. I love secret deodorant. I used Suave there for a little bit, but uh, I went right back to Secret. I'm a Secret girl. I like their deodorant. We have to use women deodorant because it's the only way to make your woman happy. happy. <laughs> well, I don't want. I don't. Well, I don't I, think that's why. I personally don't like the smell of it, but at the same time, I'm not gonna. I'd rather smell like, you know. I powder. love powder fresh. I, I, I don't. I don't like powder, but I'd rather... I just, what I do is I do that, and I put a little bit of my, my body spray on, on over it. I made reservations. Well, hello, John. Tonight's dinner was great. I made reservations, so you don't have to cook. Nice. <laughs> I love uh, nights like that. Real question is, what kind of shampoo and conditioner do you use? Just for that hair, bro. Um... <coughs> I don't put anything in my hair. I don't wash my hair at all. 
I know some of you guys are going to say it's disgusting, but I don't. My hair, does, I don't put any product in my hair. It's That's why it's still kind of wet. Somewhat kind of wet looking. Or maybe it just looks greasy. I don't know. No product. I used to do it like once a month, but now I just kind of... I'm um, khaki. I use clean powder fresh as well. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you want the last slice? Or are you full? I'm full. I'm full too. I'm not eating no more. But listen, my hair don't stink. I don't. <coughs> I don't How smell. do you know your head doesn't stink? You can't smell your own head. I'm smelling my own hair, it doesn't no. smell. No. Smelling your hair and smelling your scalp, two completely different things. Why is Seth Rollins acting like the Joker? I don't know, but I don't like his new gimmick. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of how, what he's doing. Um, it just seems very, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm not, I don't like it. I think Seth Rollins is great. I think a lot of the guys are great, but it's just whatever creative oh. is doing for them, I'm not a fan. I think Roman is probably the only, I think whatever they're, I think everything Roman is doing is amazing. I'm gonna crumb these branches. Oh god. I'm done. I'm not gonna eat the actually I'm gonna have the last. What time is it? Twelve fifty, alright. Packy's hair is beautiful, girl. Oh, thank you very much, Noreen. Mwah. Thank you, Noreen. My hair needs to be cut. Yeah. I've noticed a lot of like split ends. Yeah, me too. Oh, so We're, bad. We like lost YouTube tonight. I think I'm just going to end YouTube. So many split ends. Like, I have to cut my hair. But I really don't want to part with it just yet. I don't. Because I do like it long. Even if I cut it, I know it's going to grow back quick. But like, I don't know. Did y'all get tons of snow? We did care, bear. Yeah. We got a lot. 24 inches, girl. So, now we just got to hope to get it again. I don't want it again. I'm good. I want it again. I want one more big one. <laughs> No. No, thank you. I want it to happen during the work week, so it's like you get a snow day. Well, yeah. You know? Well, I, have, well, I missed a work day, which stinks because I don't have any time left because I use them all. So I missed out an entire day. No, no. I don't want any more snow. And Noreen's from Long Island. She doesn't want no more snow, too. Sure you do. <laughs> she doesn't want any more snow. <laughs> If you're someone that does not have to get out and have to drive a lot. Are we why, snowed in? Not anymore. Why wouldn't you want it? Yeah, no, roads are, roads seem pretty damn clean. Yeah, no, our neighbor was actually like a very nice Sidewalks, guy Sidewalks, however, are not. Yeah, our neighbor was a very nice guy today. He came. Like, with Care Bear, his, where, are you, where are you again? With his little plow. And like came and like, after he moved our cars out of the driveway, like plowed us out, which was nice. We didn't have to sit there digging and digging and hey, digging Tracy. and digging, which is what we're going to do with the snowblower. Were those Thanksgiving-style tacos? Yes, Johnny, they were. I have one left. I have one left, but I'm really full. I can't. So there was chicken. There was rotisserie chicken. Indiana, just south of Chicago. There was rotisserie chicken, uh, mashed potatoes, um, stuffing, gravy, and then some cranberry sauce on top. And I had it with my leftover green beans from the other night when I made the steak. Because I do not like to waste food. So hey, you're I usually. Cut your hair. Maybe. I think so. I don't know. But they were good, Johnny. You should really try it. I know. That's probably right up your alley. I think that's something you would like. I'm Ju judging I, from your, like, your videos. I will tell you this a lot of people are saying don't cut the hair. More I don't think you should cut your hair. More don't cut the hair than cut it. Uh, any favorite YouTubers? Um, I don't watch anybody on YouTube. So, I used to watch Casey Neistat. He used to be my favorite. Oh, I and remember then that. He, and then he stopped, he stopped making videos. He does them every once in a while, but... <sighs> I think you'll look great. Thank you. Jamie, if you cut it, make sure you go to a good stylist. Of course, I wouldn't just butcher it off myself. Um, 
I don't know. We'll see. I think Casey Neistat will probably be. I don't really watch. I don't watch YouTube like that. <sighs> yeah, you kind of just stop. Jamie, I got long hair. It's just so much easier to maintain short. Plus, I look younger. <laughs> there you go, Court. That yeah. works for you. No, I agree. But I'm also like, listen, I go on temper tantrums where I don't know what I'm going to do. And if you... <coughs> Sometimes Jimmy just, just gets sick of his hair and he's like, I'm cutting it off. Yeah, and then what will happen is I'll, I'll put it up and I'll wrap it up. Um, hair. I'll wrap my hair up for a week or so and then I'll let it back and hang down. I don't know if I'll actually cut it. We'll see. Tonight was one of those nights where it was just... I just feel... Hello, Kimmy. How are you, girl? It's Chinese takeout on this side. YouTube, we were having issues with it. Table. I didn't, I didn't nice. reconnect it. Hello, beach girl. Did YouTube freeze you? No, I think it, it did. It, it did, and then I, I, didn't, I didn't reconnect it. So. Yes, Tracy, YouTube froze, and then Jamie just let it go. I just let it go. So we're going to bed anyway. Yes, we are. About to say goodnight. <sighs> My freaking throat is so sore. Very nice, Kimmy. Nice cold night. Why not have some Chinese? You ready for bed? Yes. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of your night. And if you got to go to work tomorrow, have a good day. And just remember, no one's happy to be at work on Monday. <laughs> Unless you're one of those rare kinds of people that love what you do for a living. And if that's well, the case, good for you. I'm very happy Off for on you. Monday. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm jealous. All right. Good night, guys. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>